You know what this video is about. You saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, let's get down to it. I have an MSI Mag Forge 100R case and an MSI Mag A650BN power supply. For the motherboard, I have the Asus H610MD D4. And here it is. As you can see, I don't have a GPU. So I got a PCIe expansion card so I could use my extra SSD. But since I didn't know what I was doing, I unintentionally got a PCIe 3.0x4 expansion card. It didn't fit into this 3.0x1 slot. So I uh, tried to insert it into this 4.0x16 slot. And it worked! The bonus though is that it doesn't support the BNM key type of my secondary SSD. I was lucky that my main SSD had an M key and that it was compatible with this PCIe card. So I put the secondary SSD into the onboard M.2 slot and I put my main SSD into this expansion card instead. My main goal in this video is to fix all that and be able to use all four of my SSDs and my 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. I want this video to be an ASMR video where I don't plan to talk much, but since this is a tech-ish video, I do have to explain some stuff. And since I'm not voicing over this recording live, it's gonna be like a watch party. These are the SATA enclosures for my M.2 SSDs. I also got SATA cables for them. This is the PCIe 3.0 by one expansion card. And oh, I got a second one just because they were so cheap, I had to have a backup just in case the first one didn't work. See? Same same. Ish. You know that very annoying friend who over explains or spoils the show you're watching? Well that's gonna be me for you today. I'll try not to annoy you too much. These are my SSDs. Note their connectors. Their key types. You'll see why later. Let's see, I don't need this anymore and this one will now go to my onboard M.2 slot. First M.2 pair. Success! You remember I was telling you a while ago about the M.2 key types? Here it is. Successfully failed. Mm, nope. Doesn't work. I had to have a game plan. My main SSD had to go into my onboard M.2 slot. This was non-negotiable. I had one SSD which has an M key. And I had two SSDs which had B and M keys. My PCIe card was compatible with any, but my SATA enclosures were only compatible with B and M keys. I wasn't able to record it, but I had to transfer the crucial SATA SSD I put onto the PCIe card a while ago and transferred it to one of the SATA enclosures. Then I put my Kyoxia SSD onto the PCIe card. Now, attaching this cover was admittedly... It took some playing around with. There we go. I don't know why, but removing these always made me anxious.
And here, as I said, my main SSD would go into my onboard slot. And here, like an old man with his visual aids, I use my fingers to show you instead of using my mouse pointer. Okay, now for even more anxiety, wiring. It took me 65 million years to finally get this right. So I had to edit it into what you young people call a montage. It was at this point where I had to say this. Now you can see all four SSDs detected by my computer. Two NVMe ones using the M.2 interface and two SATA ones using the enclosures. Oh, and the fifth one is my hard drive, not part of this video. I hope you learned something. Please like or share or insert whatever people on YouTube say nowadays. Oh, and for the record, this blinking thing is very annoying at night.